Nozick invited us to imagine an experience machine. So suppose that the scientists have discovered a way not just to stimulate the particular little pleasure center of the brain, but basically to give you basically completely realistic virtual reality. So that when you are hooked up to the machine, it seems to you exactly the same on the inside as it would seem to you if you really were, and now fill in the blank. You know, you could have the identical experience of climbing Mount Everest, let's say. Uh, you know, so that you'll feel the wind bracing you. Of course, you won't really feel any wind. Strictly speaking, that's not true because you're not up on Mount Everest. There is no wind. What's really going on is you're, you're floating in the psychologist's tank in their lab with the, with the electrodes hooked up to your brain. But, but you don't know that you are floating in the tank. Hooked up to the machine, you believe you are climbing Mount Everest. You feel the thrill of having made it to the top and the wind bracingly, you know, striking your chin and, and you feel the, you know, the satisfaction and you've got the memories of having almost died, you know, when the rope broke before. It's not like being at the IMAX. The crucial point when you're at the IMAX is, although you know, it's very realistic, part of you is aware that you're just in the theater. But on the experience machine, you don't know you're just in the lab. When you're on the experience machine, you've got I, the, your, your brain is being stimulated in such a way that you've got the identical experience on the inside to what it would feel like if you really were doing these things. So imagine a life on the experience machine. Imagine plugging in the tape. It says something about how old this example is that we talk about plugging in the tapes. You know, imagine plugging in the, the, you know, the, the DVD or whatever it is with all of the best possible experiences. Whatever you think those are. Here, we might have, imagine different people disagreeing about, oh, but you know, throw in something. But you know, if what you want to do is write the great American novel, then you've got the experience of, of staying up late at night, not knowing how to make the plot work out, crushing pieces of paper and throwing them away, and, and crushing your computer, whatever it is you do as you write the great American novel. Or, or, or you want to be you know, finding the cure for cancer. So you've got exactly the experience you would have if you were working in your lab, having the brilliant breakthrough when you finally realize what the combination is that will make the right antibody, whatever it is. Or you know, if you want to be uh, 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 you know, observing all the most beautiful sunsets or the most exotic locales, you've got exactly the experience you would have if you were doing all these things. That's life on the experience machine. You're not doing any of it. You're floating in the lab. But the experiences are identical. Now, ask yourself then, would you want to spend your life hooked up to the experience machine. Ask yourself, how would you feel if you discovered now that you have been living your life hooked up to an experience machine?